This is the heavy weapons guy. He's big, he's strong, and he's a man of few words. So, yeah, kind of like me when I was writing this intro. You would think that this guy would be the type of heavy to always have a medigun placed firmly in his butthole, but more often than not, these guys are actually strong, independent heavies who don't need no medic. More often than not, you'll find them rocking the Tomislav, Second Banana, and some other melee that works with their playstyle. Probably Fist of Steel, I don't know. At any rate, they'll usually go do their own thing, and while they'll do pretty well, they're probably not gonna stick with your team all that much. You'll see them in the kill feed, but not very frequently otherwise. Okay, really, this guy might as well have picked Sniper with how accurate his sandwich throws are. It doesn't matter where you are in relation to him. Even if you're all the way across the map, he's still gonna nail that sandwich throw a hundred times out of a hundred. It's, it's actually kind of insane. This is a guy who definitely knows where his towel is because, well, it's it's right there. It's it's on his shoulder. Anyway, it's also probably safe to assume that he also has a toothbrush, a washcloth, a bar of soap, tin of biscuits, a flask, compass, map, ball of string, gnat spray, wet weather gear, spacesuit, etc., etc., etc. Basically, any heavy who knows where his towel is is a fat Russian dude to be reckoned with. Okay, but really, Douglas Adams quotes aside, they usually just wear the gym rat or something. I don't know. Okay, so I already covered this in hat stereotypes, but that's because I fell for a common misconception, which is that this hat takes up the head slot, when in reality it takes up the head skin region. This means that it can be worn with pretty much any other cosmetic and is classified as a misc. Regardless, let me catch you up on the stereotype just in case you forgot. Nacho! Right, and in addition to that, this is also one of those cosmetics that's favored by traders, since it allows you to get a second unusual effect without changing your loadout all that much. Kind of like the Polar Pullover. And like the Polar Pullover, it's also expensive as hell. Holy sh**. Who sent all these babies to fight? I'm coming for you! This is pretty much exclusively used with the Warhead, since it's one of the only things that actually works with the whole, like, metal aesthetic thing. I mean, usually it's just a newer player that's trying way too hard to look intimidating. Well, either that or they're going for a purposefully ugly loadout for a meme, or I don't know, something like that. Sunglasses, specs, shades. Whatever you call them, these tinted accessories have an iconic place in fashion history and law enforcement. Like the security shades, the old school spectacles for the heavy. And the Macho Man, the hugely popular all-class misc. He's whoosh and I'm shotgun. And it's our job to analyze their comfort, synergy, and style to find out who would win a hat bad. No. Oh. oh. Okay, that was fast. Um. Yeah, it's... Almost like the Macho Man outclasses the security shades in almost every way possible, leaving them with basically no reason to exist? Yeah. Huh. This one's pretty obvious. He's going for the lumberjack look and is probably wearing the outdoorsman. Interestingly, they also seem to run Thomas Love a lot. I don't know why, but they do. Okay, so you know the silent pub stomper type? Like, you know, that one demo with the random four-character lowercase Latin name with a regular old strange sticky launcher with a hundred thousand kills on it and he just walks in and destroys the entire server without even talking? Well, this guy is the heavy equivalent of that. He's the guy wearing the Reader's Choice and the Carl, either running Stock or Tomislav, and somehow has perfect tracking and positioning despite not ever communicating with his team. It's honestly pretty scary to go up against. I mean, like, if you're a sniper, 
Reaper, you might get a couple headshots on him, but if you're any other class, well, good luck. This right here is the combo unusual. You know, like the one that everyone wears to just complete a set or a joke or something, but they would never consider just wearing on their own. Like, okay, here's an example. You could use it to make uh, a god hoovy loadout. You could make a hippie, a, a biker. You could use it to complete that lumberjack set that I mentioned earlier. You, you can use it with a ton of stuff and have it work, so you'll very often see people wear this as a slot filler. But on its own... Yeah... Yeah... Yeah. Okay, so there's obviously the Aqua Teen Hunger Force loadout, which is what you'll usually see people wearing this for, but there's also a rather specific meme that I see this used with a lot. If an engineer is using the level 3 chin and the dad duds, and he's partied with a heavy, then there's something like a 50% chance that the heavy will be wearing the Hunger Force, Aperture Lab's hard hat, and the war goggles, and just hitting the engineer's sentry with their melee. That, or they'll just be the sentry. This is actually the dumbest thing. Oh, I got one. I got one. <laughs> Excellent. This one is actually worn by memers a lot. Like, surprisingly. Just looking at it, you wouldn't really think that. But honestly, I think it's because most people just kind of forget about it. Like, I didn't even know this existed until I saw it in the wiki, and plus there are a ton of body cosmetics for heavy, so... Yeah. Anyway, because of this, most people would wear it to fill a set or a gimmicky playstyle or something like that. Most notably, there's the Bear Heavy and the Homeless Hoovy, both of which are totally non-serious playstyles. So, yeah, if you see this, they're probably not taking it very seriously. <laughs> I, oh, I wish I hadn't sold my bumper car time. <laughs> <laughs> birthday boy, the birthday boy, the birthday boy. I, I, I feel like T-posing is actually just Bearded's natural state of being. Actually, Soundsmith TF2, oh. I'll have you know that that's an A-pose. Even though the real name for it is a reference pose, and you're clearly only calling it a T-pose because it's the easiest, most recognizable term for your audience, I still have to correct you. Look, everyone, I have a basic understanding of the English language. That means I'm smart and not obnoxious. Warpig. Har just hardcore Warpig. Really, you'd think that most heavies who think they're amazing would be wearing edgier stuff, like the Purity Fist or the Steel Jaw or something, but this one is just... Wow. Of course, there's usually a more reliable indicator of this, like having a medic buddy with matching unusuals or something like that, but more often than not, this is just used to fill out the set of a heavy who gives himself a little bit too much credit. You know, this one is weird. As a cosmetic, it definitely gives off more of a serious, edgy, try-hardy tone, so you would think that the people who wear it would fall under the same category. But here's the thing, I never really see it all that much. I mean, sure, some people who wear it will definitely fit the bill for that guy, but other people who wear it are really chill. Some of them are tryhards, some of them are hoovies, some of them are good, some of them are bad, and some of them are somewhere in between. And despite the fact that a ton of people wear this, I haven't really seen any unifying trend. Huh. Wow, it's almost like cosmetics don't always have a stereotype, and the whole concept of giving stereotypes or presenting stereotypes for an in-game item is very limited and should never have been stretched as far as it was in this case. Wow, golly gee, that's, that's one to scratch your head on, huh? This guy is definitely a cool, patriotic, American, definitely not communist, upstanding member of society. Oh. This is pretty commonly worn with the tipped lid, especially around September, when Tip of the Hats is rolling around. Other than that, people wearing this are usually the type of people who use pet cosmetics on every other class, like the Chuckle Nuts, the Slutter Sidekick, etc. They just like animal cosmetics and stuff, and in my opinion, that's absolutely a good use of a slot. This is a pretty simple one. They're usually worn together along with the Eliminator Safeguard and some other military-looking cosmetic and using stock minigun. He's a tryhard, but not necessarily a toxic one. Remember, when I say tryhard, that's not really a bad thing. I know it kind of carries a negative connotation usually, but when I say that, I just mean that they're trying their hardest to win. 
nothing wrong with that. Okay, yeah, I know that's a boring one. Let's move on to the more interesting stuff. So basically, any heavy that wears these is just letting everyone else around them know that they're the absolute greatest, manliest, bestest, big dick heavy all around. And I mean, really, there's no other cosmetic that compares to these bad boys. I mean, look, any heavy can just pack on a few cosmetics and puff their chest out, you know? But you? Nuh-uh, nuh. You're a man's kind of man, like Saxton Hale. See, as the heavy, you already know you've got a big upper body, but how many heavies are brave enough to expose those beautiful, bulging, sculpted, shaven legs? Not many, but you are. And that's why nothing compares to the Jungle Booty Shorts, especially not that puny, heavy lifter cosmetic. What? Fuck you, Big Joey! We all know the heavy lifter is the best! So... The Heavy Lifter. The cosmetic that turns heavy into what I've always seen him out to be. A massive muscular powerhouse with enough beefy intimidation to send you running back to the spawn room. We're not talking about how great this cosmetic is, we're talking about the stereotype for it. You don't see too many of these guys around, but the ones you usually do see are mega egotistical tryhard heavies with medics up their asses. <laughs> Fucking die! So, yeah, needless to say, these guys going hard. Very hard! Hello? Hi, can I speak to Champ? Who is this? Champ? Is Champ there? Who is Champ? That question will be answered sometime later this year when heavy boxing champ Bearded Expense defends his title from Big Joey's Slap Nuts in the showdown of the century. Order now for just eight easy payments of I don't know where the fuck I'm going with this. <laughs> This is another kind of boring one. It's just the vacation heavy loadout. Always. And they always use bloom buffed stuff. Like, yeah, that's it. It's, it's, it's dumb. Let's move on. Soundsmith, are you gonna make the Joe joke? It's gonna be so funny, guys. He's gonna oh make the funny Joe joke. 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 Everybody ever wears it, and maybe that makes me a hipster, I don't know, but it's not just that. Here's the thing, every time I see someone wearing this, which is a lot, they're just named Jotaro Kujo and punching people. It's just, haha, look, it's the thing that happens in the show, and it's everywhere. Granted, I was one of those people at one point, so I've got no real moral ground to stand on here. And plus, I'm partially... Mostly, I don't know, let's go with partially responsible for getting members of the TF2 community into it in the first place, but just... Holy shit, guys, let's just maybe tone it back a bit, yeah? Like, I love JoJo and all, but it's just getting way too oversaturated and heavy-handed. Like, maybe we could just not constantly shove it down everyone's throats? I guess that's why I never really made a full-on video about this being in the game, you know? People were just milking that shit for all it was worth, and it was just getting way too out of hand. Y you know, kind of like stereotypes. Anyway, that's everything I've got for today. As always, I'll be doing Engineer next, so let me know if there's a cosmetic that you'd like me to cover for him. And yeah, I guess that's it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.